What up, everybody? How's it going? Hello. Um, I'm Matt Sweets Jorgensen. I'm the founder and one of the owners of Sweets Kendamas. This is Cooper Eddy, professional yeah. kendama player. He's also the in-house videographer and uh, editor for Sweets Kendamas. What's up, guys? So, kendama has three cups, a big cup, a little cup, and a bottom cup. There's also a spike, and there's a hole in the ball, so you can land it right on it. So, when you're doing cupping, this is kind of just called juggling. When you're trying to go from different cups to cups, it's cup juggling. This is where you start with kendama. If you start today, come hang out with us, you're going to learn big cup. Big cup looks very easy, but it's very difficult. But kendama is all about the knees. It's the number one thing in kendama. If you've played before and you had a tough time, just bend your knees. I promise you're going to get the trick uh, that much quicker, all right? So... That's it, nice. Spike it for us real quick there, Kubo. Oh, nice. And you can go from all the different cups to all the different spikes. There's names for everything, uh, just like in your guys' world. Um, but that's just the beginning basic stuff. Next step, next level up is doing stalls. So stalls, the first stall we learn in Kendama is called the bird. He's gonna get the hole of the ball to land up on the cup and lean against the spike. So let's show him a bird. Bird. All right, now you can go bird over the valley. You send it over the spike and you can get it to land on the other bird on the exact opposite side of the dom. Ooh, nice job. And you can flip it if you're really good and land it back on the bird. That's called the bird flip. Nice job, Coop on command. All right, another difficult stall trick is called handle stall. This one's very difficult. You have to get it to land on the very edge. There's no spike to lean it against, so it's a little more technical. So Coop, let's show them the handle stall. Ooh. Got to give a couple tries. There we go, nice handle stall. And then ring stall too. In Kendama, there's two different stall points, so you can get it on here and you can get it on there as well. Uh, wing is probably the hardest stall out of all of them, aside from like tight rope water balance. But wing is when you try to get it to land on the edge of the cup like this. And I usually don't make Coop do it because it's a pretty difficult trick on stage when everyone's watching you, but ugh, he got it real close. All right, we'll move on. <laughs> Uh, the next Ken trick, this, so this is the Ken, if I didn't make that clear. This is the Ken, and this is the Tama. So if you hear me say Tama, Tama is ball in Japanese, and Ken means sword, so it's sword and ball game. Um, with the Ken, we can do some other really cool throw tricks. The first one that we like to do is called Whirlwind. So Coop's going to flip the Ken once, the ball once, it's going to land back on the spike. Here we go, Whirlwind. You can do regular Whirlwinds, you can do inward Whirlwinds. Got it. There we go. And if you're good, when you start getting good at kendama, the next thing to do, just like skateboarding, snowboarding, is to spin to win. So the more spins you do, the best, the better it is. So you can do doubles, triples. I think the biggest one ever landed is like an eight-turn whirlwind back to spike. Someone has done before. So, oh, there we go. He got the dub. Nice job. Oh, trip. Oh, whirlwind. Whirlwind's gnarly. Okay, how about gunslinger? Gunslinger is fun, kind of like when you had a toy gun as a kid. You get it to roll around your finger like this. Same exact concept. You can do singles. You can do doubles. You can swing it. And so much like cardistry, we have all these different tricks that you're trying to mesh into one. All these tricks that I'm showing you are things that people, when you get really good, you start combining them together. So you can do gunslinger to bird to flip whirlwind in, you know? And there's all kinds of different ways of combining all these simple tricks to be, oh, as he does it. <laughs> Gunslinger bird whirlwind in, nice. Okay, so um, we'll go on from the Ken trick and we'll switch to the Tama. So now, this is why I love Kendama. When you get bored with the Ken, now you got the Tama to play with and you have a whole nother set of tricks that's completely different. The first one's airplane to jumping stick. So airplane is just the spike but holding it the exact opposite way. Jumping stick is when you make it do a backflip to go one turn back to the spike. And just like everything else, you can do singles, you can do doubles and triples. Hey, nice. Uh, you can go forward and backward just like all the other tricks. Um, oh, look at this. Double. Go. Oh, too close. All right, so that's, uh, that's good for the airplane. Now, some of the most favorite tricks of Kendama players are with the Tama. One of the first ones is Lighthouse. Lighthouse is when you get it to land on the bottom cut nice and easy. So now when you start, the goal is to try and get it for three seconds. This is, these tricks are when paint really matters as well. If you have an old kendama that's really, really beat up and not a lot of tack to it, it's gonna slip around so tough. So having new equipment in kendama is actually crucial to learning tricks better, learning them faster. Uh, the paint and stuff has really improved over the years. It's very crazy. Um, with Lighthouse, you can do flips. You've seen Coop doing backflips, just like other tricks. So you can go forward and backward. 
lighthouse flipping, and he can do doubles and triples because he's oh yeah. So a lot of this looks very easy. If you've never played Kendama, you're gonna be like, man, that guy's just not missing much, you know? Like he keeps landing every time. It is very insane to be able to track the bottom cup when it's going that fast. So a lot of what he's doing is actually based on timing. And so Kendama just requires a lot of practice, much like Card Street, in order to get that flow, to get that, to see what's going on, to see the corners of the card where you're picking it up. He's keeping his eye very much on a certain part and he's timed it out over the years. So um, the most favorite Kendama trick of anyone who's trying to learn Kendama uh, Adam22 just learned, landed his first one ever, and he, he's on a next level of learning Kendama, but it's Lunar. Lunar is the one trick that makes everyone stoked when you first find out about Kendama. Because it looks impossible, you know? Like, this piece needs to sit so horizontally in order for it to land, but it's all about the twist and the pull-up. So when you go to twist it, you're pulling it so that that big cup is facing you, and you just get it to send up nice and easy and land. Uh, you can put it in here to really get the feel, but... Coop's, one of Coop's best tricks is Lunar. He's done a lot of crazy tricks with Lunar. So let's see if he can do single, double, triple, Lunar flip on, on the Coop mod. There's the single. Ooh, with the dub. Ooh, just, just missed the timing, just a smidge. See if you can get it this time. Oh, again, just one more, one more. You got it. Trip it. Oh. So, we have Lunar. He's also really good at some other lunar variations. One's called barrel. <laughs> One's called barrel roll. So lunar barrel roll is when you literally make it do a barrel roll. He'll flip it sideways and it'll land back on the big cup. There's also a tray flip, which is a very popular kendama trick as well. Where if you've seen a tray flip in skateboarding, it's the same thing. It's gonna barrel roll and flip at the exact same. There is the barrel roll. All right, now let's see the tray flip. This is a flip and a barrel roll in one trick. Nice job, cool. That's where the round of applause. All right, so Coop's good at Lunar. Okay, check. Next, uh, stilts. This is a trick that's one of my favorite tricks. It's a very technical trick. It's a bird, but upside down. So you're holding the ball. You have to swing the cup to get just in the right spot and lean it against the spike. So let's see if Coop can get the stilt. Oh, no problem. Now, stilt flip's a whole other story. Unlike a Lunar flip or a Lighthouse flip, the space that you have to land is very small. It's like this you know so when you're doing a flip keeping it very straight is crucial and i never make him do doubles or triples so if he can land one be amazed because it is something you don't see very often in person that's for sure Ooh, so close one more give it a shot yeah. oh, hey nice job too. all right so i've gone through most of the stall tricks i believe yeah, so next thing is spacewalk. So in Kendama, what you saw is kind of static. It's kind of very traditional tricks, very Japanese style, very much uh, general Kendama tricks. What Coop is doing now is called freestyle. Freestyle is very big in Kendama. Some would argue that it's just as important as the regular head-to-head -head competition. Because just like Carter Street, people really like to show off their own skill and their own style and what they really like to express themselves on stage. So freestyle is you literally can do whatever you want. Um, some of the tricks Coop are doing, this is swirl. Then he's going into the tornado. It's a lot of string manipulation. It's a lot of uh, inspiration from yo-yo and other different types of things. This is called the infinite swirl, a trick that I cannot do and I've practiced for years. It's very hard to keep it rolling like that. You got a hand roll, you got a space walk. Let's see, uh, up to the lighthouse. And the hardest part about freestyle is you could do the coolest space walk in the world and you could be up here for 30 45 seconds dazzling you with some really cool string stuff but in the very end if you don't spike it or get it to that lighthouse uh, it's kind of tough so in kendama it's very difficult to be a good freestyler but that's some of uh the favorites of a lot of people in the world so nice job cool. oh yeah so two things i forget because i'm old school and it's not part of my everyday life in kendama is juggling and taps Juggling is literally when you're juggling the two pieces back and forth. In Kendama over the last year, this has definitely been the trend. I know you guys have trick trends where you're doing a certain thing and everyone catches on and then they're all doing that trick. Juggling is by far one of the biggest things that's happened to Kendama in the last two years. And tapping is a whole other level of stuff that 
you really have to be practicing it a lot to be super good at it, and it's a very new school thing to do, so uh, neither me or Coop are insanely good at taps, but uh, you definitely can see Coop throwing down some tap tricks for you. To the juggle. Oh. Tapping it back oh. 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 oh my god, we hired that one. Okay, okay, Coop. <laughs> All right, so there's two more tricks that we haven't showed you. The two, uh, arguably two of the most difficult tricks in Kendama, and then we'll, we'll uh, go and we'll be selling Kendamas and playing over there. So, the last two hardest tricks. First one, border balance. Coop is going to get to land the spike on the side of the ball, and he will get it to balance there nice and easy. Yeah. All right, here we go. Border balance. So you see how nonchalantly he pulled that up. This is why he can do the tightrope. This is where the trick. Oh! Yeah, getting, it's really insane. Border bounce is a trick I practiced for months and months to be able to get. And some people can. Some people can flip back and forth to it. One of the hardest tricks ever landed in kendama is a triple border balance flip. So someone threw it a triple like he was doing lighthouse and landed it back on the spike on the ball. And that's uh, very very crazy. But. Without any further ado, let's get Coop to try to do the hardest kendama oh. trick in the world. We all need concentration. You need to good, send good vibes Coop's way. Just think in your head, land it, land it, land it. All right, so here we go, Coop. Tight rope. Sometimes it goes right away. Sometimes it takes a few, but just let them warm up. And... Oh, the third try! Three seconds is up. Look at that. Yay, yeah, Coop. Oh, yeah, just let the spot. Give it up for Cooper landing the hardest trick in Kadama on stage. Man, that was sick, dude. All right, how many Kadamas do I have up here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need six people to raise their hands who want to play a game. What's up? It's Cooper Eddie here from Sweets Kadamas. What up? I'm Matt Sweets Jorgensen, and we are stoked to have the December Boys exclusively selling Sweets Kadamas, so go get yourself one. Check out some tricks that you can do with it. December boys, get your kendama today. 